Peggy 16. We, as a studio, we always use performance capture in all our games. Um, it's a technique that we pioneered in games with our last game. So on Enslaved, we're working with House of Moves to, to do the performance capture. This is my first mocap experience. Yeah, it's awesome. I did work with Andy on uh, his last project. We've both got a, a, a kind of background in physical theatre which is the kind of theatre where you don't have many props and the actors try and create everything in the imagination of the audience. Performance capture really uh, needs to be clarified, it needs to be uh, explained to people. It's becoming a huge part of the industry. What it involves is bringing actors in to a, into a studio, motion capture studio, where we mark them up all on their body and on their faces. They have mics on their heads as well. And they basically perform totally naturally, just like any other actor would in a movie or in a TV show. Okay, I need a few minutes to get this open. We keep watch, make sure no one sees us. We had three days of rehearsal before we started any kind of, of actual capturing. Uh, where Tamim and Andy and I got to sit down and really plot out from the beginning each scene. A monkey! Monkey, monkey! Yeah. yeah we got one problem. Yeah, what's that? It's a license to have fun, to create, and to create as part of a, an ensemble. Admittedly, you know, quite a small ensemble, but um, you know that you're creating an imaginary event. Are they mechs? So these are mechs, not, not slaves that are coming to attack. Yeah, they're mechs. We're reaching a point now where, where people are beginning to, to, to understand there's a necessity, there's a, there's a human need in having storytelling impact in gaming in a big way. I think Ninja Theory have been pioneers in that respect. As an attitude towards recording VO, um, we like to use the onset recorded stuff as much as possible. When, when they're capturing the motion capture, we capture the voice as well because unlike in film, in film you will often replace a large percentage of the dialogue after the film's been done. But in a game, with mocap, you know, it's, it's a different actor, it's a different, when I say a different actor, the character looks completely different. Um, and the translation from the facial movement, it's, it's never a perfect thing. So everything you can do to preserve the original performance, to make the original performance come through, is really, really key. And that sort of made us think about how we record the rest of the VO that isn't for the cutscenes. You're really worried about Monkey damaging stuff because he's shooting stuff. Okay, stand by. And we're on. Looks like the first anchor point is down these tunnels. I need you with me, Monkey. Get up here. Please. Monkey, there's a route up. I've coded the dragonfly to lead the way. All you have to do is follow it. Sure. Usually in a VO session you've got an actor and they've got to be just here and the microphone's just there and they've got to direct their voice at the mic. They can't move about. We decided to use the same microphones that we used on set, but that also has a really nice effect of freeing the actors. So we had them all with head mics like they had in, uh, in the, in the mocap session, and that just means they're free to jump about, lie on the floor, roll around, and they did, you know, without thinking. They just do all of the things that the characters are doing in the game whilst they're delivering the lines, and it just gives so much life to the performance. Oh, whoa! Let me disable the security systems. Yeah, sounds like we're going to have a bit of mech action in here pretty soon. Like, I think there's a lot of parallels between what an actor does and what an animator does. They just happen to use their face instead of their mouse and keyboard. At the same time, there's people like me that are basically making sure that the technology and everything is, is all kind of working and going to be ready for them. All the cameras really care about is, is points in space, and that's all that we're retrieving from them. We're also capturing traditional video footage of them because we don't want to lose sense of you know, their performance, so we want to do justice to it and record it like a conventional film because that's how it's going to be edited together. Are you, uh, are you in trip? You know, I mean trip what? You know, are you, are you together? Trip, enslave me. 
And if I don't do what she says, she causes me a lot of pain. And if I still don't do what she says, she kills me. All right. <laughs> and if you do it right, it draws you totally in and you totally believe that that character's real. I'm not the kind of guy to go muscling in. Pigsy. <laughs> she can hear every word we say. Thanks, everybody. That was great. I think it went pretty well. I mean, and that was the highlight of my day. You know what I mean?